Chairman of the Hong Kong Harbour Front Commission, Nicholas Broke, has presented some highlights and experiences on the construction of the Hong Kong Harbour in China to help develop prime waterfront in PNG. The event was jointly hosted by the National Research Institute, Port Moresby Chamber of Commerce and Property Policy Development Secretariat. The presentation pointed out the potential PNG has to develop prime waterfronts through the public-private partnership. Jacqueline Yala reports. Mr. Brooks' presentation today was attended by engineers and various important international visitors. He highlighted lessons PNG can learn from the Hong Kong Harbour France experience. Um, over time, obviously, the waterfront became more and more developed. Um, he said the Hong Kong Harbour Front is a community driven initiative through the private public partnership that cost around 10 million US dollars. And he said PNG has the potential to develop harbours, especially in downtown. What's very important is to look at this in the context of Port Moresby and what you could, what's realistic to be achieved here. I showed you Hong Kong today, but Hong Kong is very different to Port Moresby. Um, the, the way that we gain momentum in Hong Kong, the way that the uh, community um, began to care and what, wanted to be involved in the waterfront, um, uh, was because we found a number of people who, who had passion about the waterfront and they wanted to uh, deliver, um, they wanted government to deliver an exciting... NRI has continuously advocated for development of towns and cities in PNG, including prime locations such as ports and harbors. The program will help NRI to continue its advocacy for city development with its first successful program on Fairfax Harbor design last year. NRI Director Charles Yala urges Papua New Guineans to consider long-term developments. The Fairfax Harbor is an iconic harbor and uh, we've got to do whatever we can do to protect the integrity of the harbor and so that the residents of Port Moresby now and into the future and visitors will enjoy this. We should not compromise the future of this harbour with self-interested short-term gains. Jacqueline Yala, NBC National News, Port Mosby.